Hey guys, Brendan in Productions here, and welcome to a quick side video. Now, in the uh, last three videos, we were actually working with a custom um, class that we were making that we called Rectangle Image. Now, Rectangle Image, what it did was essentially allowed us to take images and extend their functionality, allowing us to actually move them, uh, allow allowing images to collide with one another, or allowing images to be rotated upon an axis while still retaining the collision boundaries. So in this tutorial, or quick video I suppose you could call it, um, I just wanted to address something that was left unaddressed in those three tutorials. Now so what we've actually done in the rectangle image class is we've actually created a quote unquote seamless integration of positioning and rotation uh, within images. However, as you can see, um, it gets a little tricky when we're actually working with the uh, with the image itself because what we need to do is we need to have a get rect method and a get image method. So one of the main things that I want to do in order to actually make this class better is actually make it easier to access the properties. So instead of having to say this dot rect dot width, I want to simply say this dot rect dot collides or something like that. So instead of actually having to make a new intersects method that simply returns this dot rect dot intersects, we could simply say, or we could simply use the parent method that belongs to the rectangle. This is simply a small um, a small thing that was bugging me through the tutorials that I never really addressed. So we can go ahead and fix it. So for example, here when we want to say g two dot draw spiral dot intersection, and then we have to say spiral two dot get rect, why can't we just make it so we can say spiral dot intersection of spiral two? Well, this is really easy to do. So all we're doing is making it so the intersection method, for example here, is calling on the rectangle's intersection method. So we want to make this class, the rectangle image class, a rectangle, so we can directly call the methods instead of having to access the rectangle. So in order to do this, all we need to do is make the class extends rectangle. So we could say extends rectangle. And after that's complete, we're actually going to want to edit a few more things. So we've got an image, but we no longer need a rectangle since this class is a rectangle. So we don't actually need a private instance variable because of that. So now when we delete the rectangle, um, we should get a bunch of errors in various places. So for rectangle image, we can set that this, or the constructor rather, we can say that this dot image equals img, and we want to create the image icon to get the width and height. But now we can just say this equals new rectangle. Or rather, instead of we saying this equals new rectangle, we can just say this dot, because we don't want to actually create a new instance of it. We can say this dot, um, this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, or rather, we can do this dot set bounds, and then we're going to say x, y, icon dot get icon width, and icon dot get icon height. So as you can see here, instead of actually setting um, a new or er, private instance variables properties, we're simply setting this class's properties. So now we can actually get rid of the get rect method, and the get image method will have to remain. And the move method, um, we're we're gonna have the move method remain um, because all the move method does is call set bounds. It's just an easier name for the set bounds method. So we're just gonna say this dot set bounds, and then um, we're just gonna retain height and width as variables that belong to this class. And then the draw method, um, we can go ahead and do the same thing. So we just want to draw it at the x position, at the y position, using the width and using the height. We're going to, of course, retain the image observer. Now the intersects and intersection methods can actually be totally removed since um, they are on the parent class now that it is a rectangle. And we can go ahead and check the rotate image class, but this all has to do with the image, um, not the rectangle itself. So now, as you can see, we cut the uh, the actual size of the rectangle image class uh, substantially. So now all we need to do is go up to our parent class here, and we can go ahead and change this a little bit. So instead of saying if spiral dot intersect spiral two dot get rect, we can just say if spiral intersect spiral two. Same thing here. We're just going to want to draw the spiral dot intersection of spiral two. Whoa. And now, if we actually run the application we should get the exact same results. Which, which we do. 
As you can see, we've got an intersection rectangle, the, spir the spiral is rotated on its head, and the wall has actually been rotated 90 degrees. So this actually makes editing and accessing the images a lot easier, because now we can simply say spiral dot, and we now have all of the things that we can do with the spiral image. And all we need to do is actually assign it an image. Now, in order to actually make the um, the program a little more accurate, what you could do is instead of making the rectangle image class, you could actually have a polygon image class, whereas the um, shape retains or the shape is a polygon. In this way, you don't need to actually create a rectangle around images, but you can create an individual polygon that surrounds the non-alpha transparent uh, spots of each image. So you could truly create unique shapes with unique collision patterns. However, in, for our personal uses, I, I've never found the need to use a polygon over a rectangle because rectangles are simply easy. But if you want to, you could use circles as well. So we could actually do the same thing, but create a circle image class. However, I'm not going to get into that. So this was just a quick video explaining that it is possible to clean up our rectangle image class, and this was just something that was bothering me uh, while creating those three tutorials. So I hope that you enjoyed these three tutorials explaining the rectangle image class, and that this small video has helped you out as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Your, your feedback is really appreciated. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.